My mom was in insurance, and my dad owned a men's clothing store. Before I was in my teens, I thought it would be cool to become a ventriloquist. It turned out that this place that sold props for ventriloquists was also a magic shop. So instead of walking out with a new dummy, I ended up with a bag of tricks. I started doing little shows in my hometown. And when I was 18, I got this part in a musical called The Magic Man, where I got to do my own illusions and sing. And the longer the play ran, the more illusions I performed, and the less songs they wanted me to do. I guess I wasn't cut out to be a singer. When the show closed, I starved in New York for a year my dad would slip me a few bucks to pay the heating bill. I sat in my apartment, inventing magic, finding the right music, and staging routines. I knocked on a lot of doors and sent out a lot of videotapes. One day I got a phone call to be the host of a TV show. I was 19 and I couldn't believe it. My first few specials were to music by Gershwin. My inspirations were Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire. I thought I was really cool. I wore big collars, shiny jackets, and a bad haircut. On my fourth special, I wanted to go beyond what I'd been done before. So I took that shiny jacket and that bad haircut and made an airplane disappear. seven-ton jet aircraft, surrounded by scaffolding 12 feet high. This runway is a solid Conrock case. The plane can't go down, can't go up. This switch controls the lights at the back of the enclosure. When the translucent front wall is up, the lights will backlight the plane, casting its silhouette on the wall, so we can see the plane right up to the moment it vanishes. The plane is locked into place. It'll be surrounded by a human chain, 50 spectators linked together. The spectators are being blindfolded to protect the secret of the illusion. See it as if you were there, with absolutely no camera tricks. at home, I could think of some way to get out of it. But I was right here, and there's no way that plane could have left. It's just amazing. What happened to the airplane? I don't know. It went. <laughs> it went. How did you feel? It was thrilling. It was shocking. You had chills. What did you think when you when they, they dropped, and you took down your blindfold, and it was gone? It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> we put together a brand new illusion. 